Oh, we, we're broken. We are broken. Get off my lawn, Mono Green. What's up, Jamers? It's the One Game, and today we're playing Abzan Grease Fang. It is a contender in the meta right now, and we don't have a couple of, of uh, cards in here from Pioneer, but we have cards that are comparable. We don't have um, Abrupt Decay, but I have an Assassin's Trophy in here. We have a couple more Witherbloom commands in here instead of Traverse the Uvenwald, and we have four copies of Mulch here instead of Seder Wayfinder. Let's say Wayfinder, mills four cards and you get a land. This, you mill four cards and get all the lands. So the only thing different about Mulch is that it's not a creature, which could come up in some uh, in some spots, but here we are playing Mulch. Uh, also, three Rotting Regisaur in this deck list. I saw this deck list online and I thought the Rotting Regisaur was cool tech in this deck because it does discard your stuff on turn three, so you can turn four Grease Fang. We have three copies that can't stay away to bring your stuff back from Graver when we mill them. And then a Seekers Chariot. This deck is actually built to be more of a this is a combo deck game one, but games two and three, it goes towards more of the interactive mid-range style deck with a couple of graveyard trespassers in the sideboard, duresses and fatal pushes, a couple of noxious grasps. We're going to be a little bit more interactive in games two and three. Um, and we do have that ability to play the mid-range game plan because we have four copies of Asika's Chariot that is a really, really good card by itself and can win a lot of matches against decks like Rakdos Midrange by itself. Uh, anyways... We have the full sideboard here. The whole entire deck list is down in the description below. So if you want to skip fast track and get the deck list for yourself, be my guest. But if you want to catch the video, we're going to do it right now. But about 70% of you are not subscribed. So make sure to click that subscribe button if you want more Explorer best of three content. And also click that like button to help reach this video to more people. Anyways, let's get to the matches. And it all starts right now. It's, it's oh my gosh, it's abs and blink. Oh, oh my. Oh my, it's Absan Blink Yorian. Oh no. Oh no. Sunset Bleach subbed on YouTube. Thanks for the sub. We're gonna go Mulch here. See if we can mill Can't Stay Away or something. They were lucky. We did mill a Seekers Chariot though. Uh, hopefully they don't have something bonkers here. Uh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, it's worse than I thought. It is worse than I thought. Oh no. This is actually... My worst nightmare in doom foretold but the milk can't stay away ever lucky there's no doom foretold there i gotta take this treacherous blessing right Gosh, this Yorian's annoying, too. Well, I have no way to stop the Yorian loop, so I might as well just take that. Oh, they have a... They drew Fatal Push, and they have... They drew uh, Fable Passage, and they have Fatal Push, so they can actually kill Grease Fang. That is really annoying. We are going to do this. That's a Grease Fang. All right, all we need is Can't Stay Away. Wither Bloom Command. That doesn't do anything. I think I'm going to do... I guess, I guess Wither Bloom Command's fine. No, Blue yet? They're not playing Enigmatic. They're actually playing Doom Foretold. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if they use Fatal Push on Rotting Regisaur. Okay. Fair that, it, fair that they didn't. Uh, they're going to... They're, they're saving Fatal Push for that, which is unfortunate for me. Go ahead and do this. I mean, we're probably going to have to, like, kill this trial, right? I 
Because I don't want them to blink it. We just milled triple can't stay away. <laughs> That's funny. How the heck were the first were the top three cards of my deck the same card? That's well, that's pretty sacky. I mean they're gonna Yorian loop us, so it's not like we can win this game anyway. The Yorian looping us with a fatal push. But what we have to do is force out the fatal push and then do it again. So uh, they're gonna they're gonna have like 18 million cards in their hand, by the way, because they have this and Yorian Loop, and we just couldn't kill this prince. The Grease Fang. I'm wondering if I should play this land or not. I mean, we're definitely doing this, and we're going to get Fatal Pushed. That's fine. We are like almost dead. That's a Siege Rhino with a Yorian loop. Well, I guess I'm never killing them. I swear if they have Fatal Push again, I'm going to cry. On it is an ultimate greed lord. I do have to kill the siege rhino. I'm dead to Yorian. Unfortunate. Alright. Well, I probably need to kill some stuff. They probably have, like, a... Graveyard Trespasser slash, like... Just stuff that I need to kill. Uh, Hearse is bad. Trespassers, okay, especially since they're bringing in removal. Uh, Noxious Grasp is probably good because it kills, like, everything in their deck. Fatal Push, not as relevant. Uh, Duress, probably not as relevant either. But it does kill Doom Foretold. It, it does get rid of Doom Foretold and Treacherous Blessing, so... I don't know, maybe Thought Seize is just what I need to be doing. Um, let's see...
I think against their interactive deck, we take out Rotting Regisaur. Or like on the play, we should just combo them. Yeah, I'm just going to try to combo them as fast as possible. No interaction besides Thoughtseize. Let's go. Sand. How do they always have Charming Prince plus Yorin? I don't get it. I'll make them make a decision on this before I use Grizzly Salvage. Even though I will mill a ship and I will add Grease Fang to my hand and it's going to be GG's. Unfortunate. They don't have an answer to Rotting Register in their hand. I mean, they can they can Oath of Kaya the Graveyard Trespasser. I'm okay with discarding a mulch. Oh my god, they drew it. Must be nice. Ooh, can't stay away. Alright, so now all I need to do now is just... Mill Grease Fang? I can also, yeah, I'm just going to try to mill this thing. We did. All right, next turn combo. Yeah, add Yorian back. Yeah. Coming Prince. Okay, hopefully that one card in their hand right now is not like Noxious Grasp or something. Right at the top. Double can't stay away. Can't cast both of them, though. Well, that's going to resolve. Seems as though we have comboed. They're going to go to five life. Nice. That worked. Worked as planned. All right, and now we kind of have to play a little bit more... A little bit more cautious. They have Oath of Kaya in their deck, which means... Probably Trespasser goes out. I kind of want to bring in these Duresses. Just because, like, uh, Thought Seizing March there won us the game.
They're going to be all in on stopping our combo, though. So maybe, like, Trespasser plus Registaur is fine. We should go off the combo slightly on the draw. Yeah, I'm going to go slightly off the combo here. I think I'm cutting a, a ship. Might be incorrect, but I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, this is the kind of I would expect to, the kind of hand I would expect to play with on the draw here. Because like they're going to be like wanting to interact with me, and these, this is fine. Right, we've drawn almost every fast land possible. All right, so they take our graveyard trespasser. Another Parhelia, and that's unfortunate. Didn't I side one of these out? I bottomed one, so this is every part he in our deck. Oh my. Did they actually missed a land drop? Let's just go ahead and kill them with a chariot, shall we? Shall we? Let's have Vanishing Verse. Wouldn't be surprised if they had that. Fatal Push my Tutu, be my guest. They go Land Treacherous Blessing, blessing then we're in trouble, but other than that, I think we're fine. In the graveyard. Thoughtseize, fa Thoughtseize and Fatal Push seem like really weird inclusions for their Blink deck, but I guess you have when you have to play them, you have to play them. They're like the best cards in the format. Like they have Oath of Gaia, or they can just scoop. That's fine too. Yeah, game one was an anomaly for sure. All right, Parhelion, all we need to do is draw Grease Fang. I think we're doing this, though. That kills their elf. Double Thought Seas or Riding Registaur. Don't really want them to Coco us. Oh, wow. The ramp. I'm going to discard Citrus Supplier and hopefully I draw land. Alright, they're playing the Mono Green it, uh, without Nykthos adjacent deck. I mean, second Redisaur I'll play.
Second Reggie's pretty strong. Bunner's Enclave draw for a blocker. They got a blocker. Rakdos Midrange and Modern has a few copies in some lists. I guess they're playing it over Season Pyromancer. I mean, I think I like it over Season Pyromancer anyway. Alright, so Topiar Stomper can now block. They're at 1, so I need another blocker or else they die from Stitcher Supplier. They're dead to a little supplier. Sick. Little 1-1. One, one, aggroing it out. You love to see it. Honestly, honestly, I think we just go linear here. Like, they have, literally have no answer to our stuff besides Beseju. So I really don't think we do anything. Wait, for a moment I thought you were playing Hideaway Fight five, uh, fight Ringing or something, but you're playing Grease Fang. Grease Fang has Registaur now? Yeah, Grease Fang. I'm using Registaur as a discard outlet. I saw it online and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. Go. I tried to Eerie Ultimatum. That's way too much mana. All I need to do is draw a white source and mill grease fang. If anything, we can just play riding register and start discarding ships. Oh wow. They, have, they don't have a play? They don't have a Karn? I guess they have Nissa. Oh, we, we're broken. We are broken! Get off my lawn, Mono Green. Another deck list for my Grease Fang deck. It should be popping up on your screen, actually. It doesn't, let me know. Well, I guess Untap's not working. I refreshed it a couple times already, but I guess it's not working. Multiple burning trees, that's unfortunate. Ooh, can't stay away. So all we need to do is mill a broken card. Well god that mill is awful. I will gladly discard this chariot for hand limit. How dare you? No Parhelion, unfortunately. But we do have blockers.
looks like a decent place and then says wrong chat whoa so is this not a decent place <laughs> yeah it hasn't caught up yet showing mid-range rakdos as the current last deck okay yeah it's not ju it's just not showing up yet i guess or it's just not updated fortunately you can always find it find the exact list on youtube tomorrow but fantastical firebrand this is the easiest double block of my life. I mean, triple block's still fine. Bye. Like, they want to put Cleave on Karazov anyway. I would really, really enjoy milling. Or getting to a... Helion, but I guess that's not going to happen today. We can cast Chariot. Cast Chariot or Rotting Regisaur? Oh, top notch. This is a top notch place. Thank you. All right. How do we do this? If they put leave on Karazev, it's two damage, four toughness, double strike. I think we, I think we play Riding Registrar. And then we, we're going to have to take like five damage here to do this, or actually seven damage and go to five, but we're going to kill the Karazev. No, oh, come on. What? What the heck? There's really one flaw to me gaining so much popularity. Am I gaining popularity? You tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I'm just gonna take their creatures away from them and just like freaking hope. You're no longer infringing on the copyright of everyone's favorite catch em all. <laughs> You're not wrong. Alright, I'm so freaking dead. Cleave plus Torbrand should be banned. Honestly, if they didn't draw Torbrand, I think I feel like we win the game. Torbrand was like by far their best draw. Bouncing over cards to read them is supposed to work. Yes. Unfortunately, it's not right now. Alright, so this is eight damage from the Karazev trample. Do I lose here? I mean, I don't think I'm dead. Wait, I might actually be dead. They probably did the math. They do four here. They do four here. And then four over.
Like, I'm not dead. I just probably can't kill them. Oh, wait, no, they are dead, right? Oh, Parhelion. Wait, now I can now I can kill them. Wait, can I? Yeah, they're dead. I had to oops them because they good gained me earlier. You forgot the one in the grave? There wasn't one in the grave. Rotting Registor discarded it in upkeep. Which is why this card's good. As a member of Mono Green Stompy, can confirm math is hard. <laughs> One attacks with the land, do they win? No, because then they couldn't put Embercleave on anything. If Embercleave was already on something, and then they attack with the land, yes, it was game. I would have taken at most three from Karazev. Well, Karazev was a lot with Torbrand on board. Karazev was eight. What's up, Johnny GMTG? How's it going? Can I get a Grizzly Salvage, please? Or a Mulch? I mean, if I mill a Grease Fang and something else... I don't know, this, this is... This block is weird. I, get, I, need like, I need like two different mills for it to be good, but I think we're going to go for it. Do I think Jessica Hanada is tier one in Explorer? No. Welfare sub. Welfare sub. <laughs> hey, that's the card I wanted. Rusty Nuke, thanks for the follow. Can I get some lands? Thank you. Whoa, that's a lot of lands. Why is Grease Fang legal in Wilderness Exclam Wilderness Wreck Band? What? Have you read Wilderness Reclamation? They have three mana available. Pump it up. Or I think my opponent has died. 
Don't have Parhelion. I want Parhelion. I guess we'll just settle for a chariot. You played it for two years, best standard of your life. That was the worst standard of my life. I hated playing against Reclamation. All right, James, almost been up for 24 hours. Time to go to bed for me. Glad I was able to stop by and catch your stream for a bit. Hopefully it won't be another six months before I catch you again. Hopefully not, Jojo. Good luck with the rest of the stream, brother. Thank you very, very much for hanging out. Was that what I thought it was? Finale of Devastation? Excuse me? What? Uh, I would like to mill. We got Parhelion. We're broken. Mmm. Yeah. Even though Cavalier of Thorns blocks Parhelion, but sure, be my guest. Actually, didn't we just go like freaking... Didn't we just go full on... Full on freaking linear mode against this deck. We can just go full on linear. Did I ever get tied right before I stream and how how do you get over that? Do you and before you? Like get tired. No, because I wake up. Like I, it's in the morning when I stream, so like, there's no way that I'm tired because I wake up. And when I streamed at night. Like I wasn't tired because I already got off work. We're going Salvage here or Witherbloom Command? Probably Salvage. I mean, Command kills the 1 1. But Salvage has a better chance of milling a ship. So I think I have to go Salvage here. And there's definitely times where I don't want to stream, but I stream anyway. They could have Beseju. Perfect, we got Parhelion. Alright, so hopefully they don't have Besaju. It's looking like they have it. Fine. I mean, honestly, if my read is that they have... Okay, I guess they don't have it. I was going to bring back Chariot.
How did I just get no lands? No lands, no creatures. Interesting. What's the difference between mashed potatoes and pea, and pea soup? I, I feel a joke coming. Well, they can't absorb me. I can do that, though. Hopefully they don't deluge. God. So right, hopefully they don't have another fateful absence. Go absorb. All right, so this is good for me because I can craft a clue for Thoughtseize. Unfortunate. I could have I could have mulched to try to mill Kent's day away, but I feel like Thoughtseize is better there to hit the Teferi. Can't stay away. Perfect. What's a Lando? Oh my god, what a broken draw. Wow, they can kill everything I do. They have March and Fateful Absence. So if I take the March... A fateful absence, that's fine. And they farewell. Or I could just take the farewell to guarantee my stuff stays in the grave. I'm gonna take the march. I'm gonna get fateful absence and then farewell, aren't I? Whatever. Her hand's just too good. Did not use farewell. Fucking Mill can't stay away here. We're busted. spell do you have now opponent none
No! Okay, whew. How'd I click through it? No, I clicked through it! No, I clicked through it! No! No, no! All right, I can hard cast it. Holy crap. I mean, they'd be at 10 and we'd be in the same spot, but they're just not at 10. Like, it's not a shame scoop because the only difference is they would be at 10. And now they're not. Now they're at 23. The only difference. We can come back from this. It does have Vigilance. And I'm dead. I drew a land. Alright, we would have died anyway. Because our angels would have got swept. I don't actually like Hearse in this matchup, but it's just another threat. Maybe, maybe I just play one. You mean a shrimp licenses this hearse? Did a shrimp? Never seen shrimp license licensing hearses. When I went to the DMV to get my first license, it was from a shrimp. How about triple thoughtsies? I should just keep this for the lulls. Hearse instead of a ship? Yeah, Hearse is better by itself and doesn't need to be comboed with. What's up, Jaffer? What's going on? Playing blockers is more of immediate threat than Deluge. I mean, this isn't this isn't even about exiling Deluge. It's about being a, a an attacker. How's ladder felt? Oh, really good. Really good. Oh, we're busted. You're gonna march this? That's unfortunate. And if they march this, they're not marching Grease Fang.
actual factual grease fang. Can't absorb this. This is this is where the hearse comes into play. For for being like an actual card that I can attack with. That also doesn't get swept by sweepers. The hall's pretty annoying. Alright, give me a Thoughtseize. If I draw a Thoughtseize, I likely win the game. Oh, Double can't stay away. I want to get censored. Gotta use this one. I need to play this and not this. If it resolves, I can attack Anuma also. Scoop it up! Let's go! Never saw it in Abzan, only an Esper with Shredders? Yep. I think I need to go a little bit more longevity on the draw, but we could draw. We have four thought seas, four duress, so we should be okay. Is Registrar bad against control? Yes. You don't want to be discarding cards against them. Plus, they can. It's Registrar is much better against a deck that like can't really deal with it without without a hard removal spell like red decks. But against decks that can just like one for one it with like March or whatever, it's pretty bad. Well, their hands are absolutely insane. The heck. I mean, because I have two can't stay aways. I'll just take the march. That was a really god. That was a god draw right there. But I do this, and I actually wanted to get censored. Because then they can't draw a card. I have these.
Like, this is all actively good for us. All right, Jamers, thanks for ha hanging out with me with Abzan Grease. Day. Hopefully you have some fun with this. Hopefully you like riding Regisaur in the deck as well. It does apply a lot of pressure and is a really huge blocker, as you saw in our Mono Red matchup, and a really a lot of pressure, as you saw in one of our Mono Green matchups. Anyways, a lot of good matchups down the down the line here. Um, pretty bad matchup. I mean, I, I guess with, with a Seekers Jared, it just makes your Red Black, match Black matchup so much better. But anyways, as always, the deck list is in the description of the video. Please like the video if you want this to reach to more people and you liked it. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Explorer Best of 3 content. I'm off for the next one. Check out the one, next one over here that I want to show you. You'll like that one as well. And I'll see you next time. And as always, peace.